Are you a fan of Johnny Depp? And do you hate Amber Heard? Are you sick and tired of the news being told to you the same way, day in, day out, the same boring routine with the same boring talking heads? Boring, boring, with the same boring people. Well, let me tell you something, bucko. This ain't boring. This is anything but boring. If you are looking for a more unique take on how the news is delivered, then you've come to the right place. If you're watching this video right now, chances are you're new to the channel. And chances are you, you had to go down a, a YouTube rabbit hole just to find this channel, this gem, this diamond in the rough. You found it, baby. Y yeah, you found a baby in the trash. I I'm just saying a, a diamond in the rough and a baby in the trash, they're both equally important amongst a lot of unimportant things. My point is, if the YouTube rabbit hole brought you all the way down to me, then that means you need to subscribe, and that means you're here for a reason, and you will enjoy my content. This is the content you're looking for. No? Can I, can I try it again? Well, I mean, now, now, now they're prepared, but I'll, I'll, try it, I'll try it anyway. These are not the transgenders you're looking for. These are not the homophobes you're looking for. These are not the snowflakes you're looking for. Yeah, you're right. It's getting a little bit repetitive. Yeah, it was cute at first, but then it just, it's just dumb. So if you want to inject some new life into your veins, if you want to, you know, you know, shoot up some, some heroin, I mean, some, some, <clears throat> some Amber Heard juice. If you're sick and tired of scrolling through the recommended videos or the trending videos, if you're tired of that bullshit and you want something fresh, something new, something unique, something different, then you will subscribe to Darth motherfucking news. If you hate fake news, you love Johnny Depp, and you extra, extra, double, triple, quadruple hate Amber Heard and IO Tillet, the toilet, then you will pay attention for the, for the rest of this video. Most importantly, if you're not a snowflake, then you will smash that like button, baby. Yeah, smash the smash. I hate. I honestly, I fucking hate it when YouTubers say smash the like button, bro. Yeah, bro, fist, smash the like button. Yeah, boy. Yeah, what bomba clot? You want to smash the button, yeah, boy? You want to smash that button? You got three seconds to smash the like button. Listen, little bitch, we don't fuck with small talk. We associate with people that are known to call cops. See that shine from my wrist. My neck's all rocks Gucci flip-flops with Louis Vuitton socks L Listen, little bitch, we don't fuck with small talk We associate with people that are known to call cops See that shine from my wrist to my neck's all rocks Gucci And welcome back to another episode of Darth News Special Edition Everybody Hates Amber! No? Take it back Let's get ready to Ember! Before we read the article and before I talk your ear off, because if you're new here, you'll notice that I, I talk a lot. I rant, I talk, I get off, I get off topic, I, I, I lose the whole point of what I'm trying... I what was I saying? Exactly, I lose the point of almost, every of almost every point. If you're new here, my point is I'm not Deadpool. Let's just get that out the way. I'm not Deadpool, I'm not trying to be Deadpool, I'm not trying to copy Ryan Reynolds. I'm, my, I am like literally my own thing. My friends call me Darth, so you can just go ahead and call me Darth. We're all friends now, yeah. You're, you're basically my best friend now. Strictly speaking to my new subscribers, my little baby Darthanites, to all of you new, new subs, I wanna let you know that the point of this channel is definitely 100%, absolutely positively, is not about getting to the point, okay? This is Darth News. We do the news a little bit differently here, okay? Now, I'm not trying to rant, but I, I feel like every like 15 videos, I just need to reiterate this message to my new subscribers so that way they kind of catch up. They're not so, you know, lost. They're not like, why is this guy in a Deadpool co mask, whatever? I have the costume, by the way, to, to my new subscribers. I, I, I would wear, I would wear it. I would, I would wear it, but the, but the, prob the problem is, um, it just gets so goddamn hot. Okay, great. Now that I have that speech out the way, we can just jump into today's video. Everybody hates Amber. I've said this before in my previous videos, um, but nobody seems to believe me because they think that the uh, liberal left, the uh, elitists of Hollywood, get a free pass. That the, the, the elitists, they don't go to jail. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, 
I'm smelling, I'm smelling jail. I'm smelling prison. I'm smelling some prison time. I feel like this is not going to go very well for Amber. I'd like to give a quick shout out to Stovetop Ninja for sending me this article so that way I could report on it and get more views, likes, subscribers, and comments. And hopefully you share my shit on Twitter, something like that, I don't know. So thank you Stovetop for bringing this to my attention. So for the unaware, let me just fill you in. Um, Amber Heard allegedly faked her bruises that she used to, to get a restraining order on Johnny Depp. Yeah, she uh, faked bruises and said that Johnny Depp assaulted her to get a restraining order. She faked her fucking bruises. Now, I don't know if she painted them on or used makeup or if she actually just, you know, liar liared herself and just hit herself over and over again. I mean, that would be the best way to do it. The most painful way, but probably the most legit way. If you're going to say someone abused you, you should probably give yourself a real black eye because just a little bit of, they'll come right off. So without further ado, let's jump into this article and see what it's all about. And maybe if I'm feeling in the mood, I'll talk about it. Yeah, I know. Woo! That was, that was bad. Yay! Damn it. And maybe if I'm in the mood, we will talk about it. Yay! Applejack, hit that shit. And today's article is brought to you by popdust.com. The title reads, James Franco's testimony could send Amber Heard to jail. This is not a joke. I've, I've said it many times before, but this is very serious. There is no laughing matter here. <laughs> okay, that's, that's a terrible fake laugh. Let's keep moving. In 2016, after filing for divorce, Heard claimed that Depp had been physically and verbally abusive, yada, yada, fucking yada. We all know that story. Uh, now there is increasing evidence that Heard falsified much of her proof of Depp's abuse, a crime that could earn the actress up to three years in prison. In 2016, Heard acquired a temporary restraining order, or a TRO, against Depp using images that appear to show injuries allegedly inflicted by Depp. She was fucking lying. Now we can see here uh, those injuries, those 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 painted on makeup. And even even if even if these are real, even if she didn't do makeup or paint paint those bruises on, she hit herself. But these are not fake bruises, or you know, if she didn't paint these on or use makeup to create the effect of a bruise uh, under her eye and her nose and uh, her cheek, then this is definitely still a fake bruise. It's a real fake bruise. If it's not, if it's not makeup, then she, she did it to herself. She had her friend hit her. She hit herself. She's a fucking psychopath. This is something that a socio narcissistic psychopath would do. If, if they wanted it to be real, they would just inflict the pain upon themselves. They would just do it themselves and point the finger. And if this is a real black eye, then that's what I think happened. Unlike the bloody nose with the red nail polish, um, that 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 whole fucking the nail polish gate that was fucking uh ridiculous now i know i don't need to explain myself to my audience because they uh are very smart and uh, all of you guys are very well educated with this uh case revolving around amber heard the uh abuser but um i'm not saying that women aren't abused by men okay i'm not saying that um some people would not attack a female. I mean, there's some there's some guys out there where I'm like, yeah, for sure, 100%, that guy definitely beat the shit out of his girlfriend or his wife. It happens every day, unfortunately. But I don't think it ever happened on any day with Johnny Depp. I just don't. I think Amber Heard is a lying, manipulative, little fucking cunt. That's what she is. Point is, whether uh, they're applied bruises or uh, real fake bruises that she gave herself, it's still, it's still self-inflicted. It's still self-applied. So I do not believe Johnny Depp is um, guilty at all in this case. Um, we can read the excerpt here. Uh, an example of one of the images Heard submitted as evidence uh, of abuse. Okay, so this was the photo she used as evidence. Got it. Depp has repeatedly claimed that Heard used makeup to fake injuries shown in the photographs. This has now been corroborated by Heard's stylist, Samantha McKillen. Heard alleged that Depp had given her two black eyes just before she appeared on the late night show with James Corden. Fuck James Corden, I'm just saying. Fuck that fat little pudgy chode. Um, in 2015, but McKillen, who did the actress's makeup that day, stated 
Throughout the day of December 16th, 2015, I could see clearly that Amber Heard did not have any visible marks, bruises, cuts, or injuries to her face or any other part of her bod body. Um, now, this is someone who does her makeup. She applies the makeup, so she would know if there was fake bruises makeup on her face. She would she would know. And if if she had the fake bruises on, then she wiped them off and let and let her uh, stylist apply new makeup. So. If anyone was to truly know if she had any bruises or not, it would be this lady right here, her stylist, uh, Miss McKillen, Samantha McKillen. And now it looks like Heard's fate could be in the hands of none other than the actor James Franco. Depp's legal defense has reportedly subpoenaed Franco because of surveillance footage that shows Franco and Heard together in the days surrounding May 27th, when Heard showed up to court with a bruised face and successfully acquired a TRO. And now if Heard is found guilty, of faking evidence, she will be charged with a crime under the California Penal Code Section 141 PC. That's right, politically correct. <laughs> uh, which makes it illegal to plant or tamper with evidence for the purpose of causing someone to be charged with a crime or to be produced with a deceptive effect at a legal proceeding. Other laws would uh, apply. Uh, that would include offering false evidence under California Penal Code 132 PC and um, preparing false evidence under California Penal Code 134 PC. According to CBR.com, uh, the latter two laws are felony charges. That's right, felony. While the initial laws uh, is typically a misdemeanor, but could be charged as a felony. And I think if, if she is, and most likely she will be convicted, she needs to be charged with felonies. The judge needs to set an example that these fucking elitists, these celebrities don't get a fucking free pass just because they're famous. <sighs> if found guilty, Heard would face up to three years in prison. That's three years. Now, she's okay, let's let's be real. She's not going to get three years. I mean, she could. There's a chance. I doubt it. I don't think so. But that would be fucking amazing. But she won't get three years. If anything, she'll get three months, maybe three weeks and community service, maybe even like a week. I mean, Lori McLaughlin, that fucking psycho, she's only serving, what, two months? Two months in jail, that's it? Like, that's it? It's not, en it's not enough for the crime that she's committed or the crime, but I would just like to see her behind bars, period. Uh, anyway, so it looks like that's all the article wrote. Now, not a lot of this information was new information. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure none of it is actually new information. But it's just good to see um, that Amber Heard could do prison time in the headlines. You know what I mean? The only question is, even though, even though we know Amber Heard faked her bruises, okay? We, we know this. But even though we know, how is the court or a jury going to prove that they were fake? It's going to be very difficult. Very hard. I mean, e even if Johnny Depp still has the uh, the bloody tissue uh, that she she used nail polish to say she got a nosebleed because he hit her, if if Johnny Depp still has that tissue, even then, it's not. I mean, it's evidence, yes, but it's not like there's like a timestamp or a date on the napkin. It's not like uh, there was a secret camera recording Amber as she put the the you know the nail polish on the on the tissue. I'm just curious as to how they are going to prove this in court that she manipulated and faked, falsified her attacks, her bruises. How did she, how did she, how do you prove somebody faked bruises years after the fact? All you have are photos and testimonies. That's really it. And, and hopefully the testimonies are enough to put her away. Hopefully there's enough people who witnessed, you know, her face, who, who made eye contact with her that day and didn't see any any marks, any, abr any abrasions and no bruises, no swelling, no redness. The makeup artist, the fucking makeup artist, the person who puts makeup on Amber Heard every single day, clearly would have noticed if there was a fake bruise. And if, if Amber Heard did apply a fake bruise, like I said before, she she washed it off and let her her makeup uh, artist do her face up, like nothing ever happened. There's just there's just there's just so many fishy, stinky things going on in this story. It's it's bugging it's bugging the shit out of me. 
something is very rotten about this story. And I can guarantee you it's coming from Herd's team. It's coming from Amber's defense team, not Johnny. I'm getting really sick and tired of this believe all women bullshit. If anything, it should just believe all people. Yeah, believe all people kind. Not humankind, people kind. Believe all people. Seriously though, we should, we should just believe everybody. Man or woman, non-binary, wh whoever you are. We should believe you uh, as long as we have facts and evidence. Yes, you, you, see, you see what I'm saying? The facts and the evidence, that that's what makes or breaks a case. That's what says that I'm a sexist or a misogynist or not. That's what says I'm a racist or not. I'm done, yo, I'm done. I'm done with this believe all women. I believe facts and evidence. That's it. I don't believe men. I don't believe women. I believe the fucking facts. I guess what I'm saying is, well, I, I feel like there is enough facts, but I'm just hoping that there's enough facts in Johnny's defense to really just throw this bitch behind bars. I, I don't care if it's for six months or three months or three years. I, I want to see her behind bars. Amber has to be so fucking scared right now. She's got to be scared for her career, for her life. Well, no one's, no one's trying to kill her, but you know, she's definitely scared for her career. You know goddamn well Amber was like, thank you, thank you Jesus, that the coronavirus happened because otherwise we would have went to trial and she would have been convicted and then she would have already been let go from fucking Warner Brothers and L'Oreal. If the coronavirus never happened, she would be removed from L'Oreal and Warner Brothers or already, guaranteed. Oh my God, what, what if? What if the entire coronavirus was just a, a a way to like you know have Amber stay in the sequel to Aquaman? What if? Oh my! Oh my God! Oh my God! Anyways, if the universe is just and karma is fair, it looks like Amber Heard will be behind bars at some point in the near future. And and if if Amber does not go behind bars in the near future, I'm gonna build a cage in my backyard and I'm gonna buy a blow up sex doll. I'm gonna throw it in there. I'm gonna put a blonde wig on it and I'm gonna write Amber across its fucking chest. And that's gonna be my slave. And that'll that'll at least make me happy knowing that she's behind bars in some dimension or another. And that about wraps up today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in to another edition of Darth News. I'm your host Darth, and hopefully I didn't um. You know, go on too much of a tangent today. Hopefully I stayed on track just enough. But anyway, as always, if you enjoyed my content, even a little bit, guys, even if you liked it a little bit, or if you're new here, if you're new to this channel, and for some unknown reason, you're still watching the video, well, then you should definitely like, share, and subscribe. But, but, I saved the best for last, but, but if you want to wax my taint and rub honey all over my nipples, then you will hit that motherfucking notification bell right now. Right now. Oh yeah, yeah, fuck, fuck Amber. I know you believe that your shit don't stink, but everybody in the city would say different not things. Like, oh yeah, yeah, she ratchet, but oh, that girl. Shit, he smashed it. I did. Said I know you believe that your shit don't stink, but everybody in the city would say different. I think like, oh yeah, yeah she ratchet, but oh, that girl, shit, he smashed it. I did. Her name is Melanie. She used to compete in spelling bees. Now all she does is sell some weed and sit around us selflessly. She's bad with jealousy, so she can never keep a boyfriend long. New Facebook status. Everything is always going wrong. But you did it to yourself Come on, Mel At least a little bit of dignity could help I mean, shit The truth is And you let anybody hit it Bet you lost count No, I know it's summer in the double digits Yeah That pussy's looking like the dusty divot Shove a midget up it like it's nothing Cause it fucking isn't A laughing joke You're more toxic than a pack of smokes You suck the dick of any average show To get a flap of coke You nasty hoe And what makes it all crazy She's got an eight month old baby From out of Jamie and Brady But we don't actually know when she was hanging with Jamie, she was secretly banging Brady. Sound shady. Yeah, that's for sure. I know you believe that your shit don't stink, but everybody in the city would say different. Not things like, oh yeah, yeah she ratchet, but oh, that girl, shit he smashed it. I did. I said I know you believe that your shit don't stink, but everybody in the city would say different. Not things like, oh yeah, yeah she ratchet, but oh, that girl, shit he smashed it. I did. Yeah. And please. 
please tell me I wanna know your business plan Post a titty picture up on Instagram and get some fans Well, I mean shit, well let me know if that works Just like your last relationship I told you Paul was a jerk Yeah, okay, whatever There's always excuses Like how is a piece of shit, yeah And Paul was just useless Well maybe it's just you An alcoholic, abusive human That's obviously got a problem with causing a nuisance Stupid And bitch, you're gonna look like hell when you're 40 you Come here, kid, listen to mommy while I tell you a story Let me tell you where I fucked up and where I went wrong I lived my whole life thinking I'd be carried along But that wasn't true Well, no shit, obviously not Man, shut the fuck up, I didn't think the party would stop But then it did, now guess what? You got nothing to show Cause nobody really wanna go and fall in love with no hoe I know you believe that your shit don't stink But everybody in the city would say different not things Like, oh yeah, yeah, she ratchet Oh, that girl, shit, he smashed it I did I said, I know you believe that your shit don't stink But everybody in the city would say different, I think Like, oh yeah, yeah, she ratchet Oh, that girl, shit, he smashed it I did So badly be on your friend's timeline yeah. No one can stop us a year since started So bitch, don't let this is the prime time bitch, we don't fuck with small talk We associate with people that are known to call cops See that shine from my wrist to my neck, so 